It's a currency that's worked a charm here before and is being used again to try and win over youths who are seen as the kingmakers in the July polls. President Emerson Mnangagwa told a rally that his government is repossessing land from multiple farm owners and downsizing unproductive farms to open up space for young people. We've got so much land anyway, so you give it away, it's not going to cost you anything. They don't have to outlay any cash or whatever, you know, and every young person in Zimbabwe, because of the economy, has been unable to acquire land. So if someone comes to you and says they're going to give you land, that's a serious incentive. The emotive land issue is topical across the Southern African region. Namibia and most recently South Africa are planning to acquire white-owned land to redistribute to the black majority. The measures, happening due to mounting pressure to address historic social and economic disparities, have a bearing on international relations and call for a balance between political expediency and economic pragmatism. Whatever assets we have as a country, we must make them productive. We must maybe be less emotional and say, listen, how do we maximize the production of the land, but also how do we distribute it equity? When you come out there and say you're going to take land, it scares off investors. And that's not what we want. We want investors to come and invest in the land. We want locals to be able to also benefit from the land. After its land reforms, Zimbabwe suffered a slump in agricultural output. The government has recently rolled out a command farming program to ramp up production. It provides state-funded financial assistance and inputs and also sets performance targets to which beneficiaries are held. After achieving an over 200% jump in maize output, the program is being expanded to livestock, cotton and tobacco farmers, moves that are also seen as an effort to capture the rural vote. Farai Mokutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.